Hey y'all, today we'd like to talk about a problem that we're seeing fairly frequently in the repair shop. And this is related to the JBL Eon One Compact speaker. Uh, this is a speaker that can run on batteries or plugged into power. And the problem we're seeing is with breakage of the power switch. Um, so that is located in the back here right by the input jacks that you would plug into. Um, the power up sequence of this unit and the nature of the button is creating some confusion. Uh, about how it should be used. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, the switch that's inside of here is just a tack switch. This is not a button that you press and it locks into position or anything like that. And it takes very little movement. So the switch itself is small behind the actuator. It takes very little movement to actually press that button. It's not something that's going to travel a long ways. So you want to be conscious of how that should work. So you're not pressing it too hard. The other thing is that it takes a little bit of time for the unit to actually boot up and display LEDs that indicate that it's on. So all you need to do is hold the button for a second and let go of it. And then it'll take, its, it'll take the time it takes to process. The lights will come on. You know the unit is now powered up. So that is a little bit of time, but you don't have to be pressing the button the whole time and certainly pressing it harder does not help at all. Um, so in the process to turn it off, you actually do need to hold the button until the lights go off. So same thing, I'm going to press the button, it doesn't take that much pressure, it's just a click, and then once the lights go off, I know the unit is now powered down. So the problem that's occurring is that actuator uh, that you're touching or the button inside are breaking and it will actually fall inside of the unit and then there's no way to power it on and off. Um, there is a solution that we're doing as a warranty service center uh, that is approved by JBL. So we can replace the switch or the actuator if those are broken. And then there's an update that we do. When we get this all apart, we put an extra bracket behind there that will support that and make it so if you do press it too hard, there's at least some support structure back there. But main thing is this power up sequence and how long it takes. I think people are thinking if I press it harder, it didn't really know I was powering it up, so I'll press it harder and that doesn't really help. It just creates breakage. So there is an additional update that we do to these. We can do a software update that will make it so the lights come on a little sooner in the boot up process so it's not so confusing. Okay, so now we've done a firmware update to this speaker and we'll show you what the LEDs do now so it's a little less confusing when you go to power this unit up. So basically you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna to touch this switch and you're gonna see a red light come on on the Bluetooth uh, button and that indicates that it has now started the boot cycle and then you'll see the green lights come on. So if you have the old software version, you won't see that red light with the new firmware. Um, you will actually see the red light come on and that tells you it's initiated the boot sequence. So hopefully that makes it a little less confusing using the speaker. Uh, but basically, if you're having any problems with one of these units, uh, we're located in Riverdale, Utah, but we accept uh, shipments from all over the place for warranty repairs. We do a lot of JBL repair work. So if you need help with this, just let us know. Thanks.